listening to the Midday Show on KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at kexp.org. And it's a delight to have live in studio today, Laura Gibson. Welcome. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much for having us, Joe. Yeah. You have some wonderful musicians with you. It's a full house today. You want to introduce your band real quick before you yeah, play your first song? Yeah. Um, well, this is Brian Perez playing bass and lap steel, um, Matthew Berger on drums and uh, various instruments, uh, Johanna Cunian on piano and flute and vocals, and Jill Kirkendall on clarinet and bass. Welcome, all of you. It's great to see. I have some recognize many of these faces. Live in studio here at KEXP, Laura Gibson. Yeah, uh, first song we're going to play is called The Grand. Gibson live on KEXP. That sounds phenomenal. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to do uh, another song called Milk yeah. Heavy Pollenide.
So beautiful, Laura Gibson live on KEXP. You have such a unique and magnificent, magnificent voice, and in my vivid imagination, I see you traipsing through the forest, singing to the trees. <laughs> Am I on track there? Um, actually, yeah, you're close to it. Um, I do spend a lot of time in nature hiking, and um, actually, a couple of the songs were written on an artist residency up in the Mount Hood wilderness, and so there was, there was in fact. Um, some uh, walking through the trees, singing to them. <laughs> um, it sounds very hippie-ish, but um, it's true. <laughs> I, I keep repeating it, but you do have such a beautiful voice. When did you start singing and playing music? Is that something you've done for since you were young? No, no. Actually, I started playing music really late um, when I was in college. Um, I'd, I'd sang maybe a few times when I was younger, but I was uh, really shy and especially shy uh, singing in front of people and so it really took until college and um, you know college is that time where you're really figuring out your place in the world and um, I discovered songwriting and just the love of putting words together and I started playing music really as a means to um, realize these songs that were in my head and so I um, it was about 20 I became, began playing guitar and singing and is songwriting a solitary process for you, or is that something you do in collaboration with other people? Um, it's pretty solitary. It's a lot of um, a lot of me carrying around a notebook and scribbling furiously and um, taking walks and going back and rearranging words. And um, it's very much a solitary thing, but um, lucky enough I'm to collaborate with a lot of great musicians after I've kind of formed the songs. I know on your last album you worked with Tucker Martin, who used to live here in Seattle and now lives down in Portland, and we love him, and he's yeah, worked on so many. Yeah, he's amazing. And your newest album, which you're playing songs from that today, Le Grand, I know uh, Joey Burns, who we also uh, love, worked on that with you. Who are some yeah. of the other people that you've collaborated with? Because you've worked with some pretty cool people. Yeah, I just, I'm so lucky. Um, yeah, well, uh, Joey came in and recorded a, a few things, and then we sent more tracks down to Tucson for him. Um, 
Rachel Blumberg and Matt Berger, um, who's Matt's with me today. Um, they're as a duo known as we call them Blumberger, um, and they were a really big part. Um, initially, the first couple songs that we recorded, it was me and Matt and Rachel, and that energy that they brought really, I think, um, was a catalyst for the whole record. Um, and uh, uh, Nate Query and Jenny Conley from the Decemberists came in. It's really. Um, amazingly supportive band and a big part of Portland's um, And the first time community. I saw you actually was you were playing opening for oh, them. Oh yeah, for Colin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Colin took me out um, right after my very first record and I learned so much from touring with him. It sounds like it's a really supportive community and group of people you've gathered around you and today you're surrounded by some very talented musicians. What are your plans for touring? I know you have a show tomorrow night at Mississippi Studios in Portland yeah. and then the next night you're coming back to Seattle Saturday um, to play. Yeah, so we're uh, kicking off. We just did a run of East Coast shows and Europe shows and, and now we're kicking off um, like a Western States loop and then um, we'll go as far as Texas and back and then we'll kind of turn around and go back to Texas for South by Southwest. I bet they love your sound down there. I, you know, I grew up, my grandparents lived in Texas, so I always feel this special connection with that land and the people there. So. Well, maybe that's where it came from a little bit. Well, it's Laura Gibson in studio here at KEXP today, and the new album, Le Grand, absolutely beautiful. And she's got a couple more songs for us, as I mentioned. Well, I'm going to move over to the piano now. Um, and we're going to play a song called Feather Lungs. Late when the night has swollen And the edge of the sky is bruised I wonder if the scene was cast by accident or by design
Breathtaking. It's Laura Gibson live in studio at KEXP. Her new album, Le Grand, was just out on January 24th on Seattle's Barsook Records. Very delighted to have her live in studio today. She's got one more song back on guitar. A little easier time there. <laughs> yeah, it was a much, much smoother transition back to She's the guitar. She's practiced now. I, know. <laughs> I didn't tangle myself in any cables. Um, I'll let everybody get settled here, but we're going to play a song called Skin Warming Skin. from the new album Le Grand from Laura Gibson here on KEXP today. So excited. Thank you very much, oh, all of you. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you. This is KEXP Seattle.